Okay, I want to ask the non-grade 12 physics students the following question. When you throw something up in the air, it comes back down, of course. At the very highest point it reaches, what's the acceleration of the object? Zero. Zero. Thank you. The acceleration at the top is equal to zero. When you throw something up in the air, at the very top, what's the velocity? Also zero. Also zero. So the velocity at the top is also zero. Now these are vectors, so you want to put an arrow on there, you can, but it's one dimensional, so we won't really worry too much about that. The acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity, but right? it's v prime. So if your velocity is zero at the top, and it's not changing, the rate of change is zero, what should happen to the velocity? It's zero at the top, and it's not changing, so it should stay zero. Right? These two facts imply that the velocity will remain zero. What? That means it's not coming back down. Unfortunately for that, there's acceleration due to gravity. Thank you. But based on this theory, and a lot of people said the acceleration would be zero at the top, and we know the velocity is zero at the top, so if the acceleration is, is zero, that means the velocity is not changing, it would remain zero. Okay, that's our theory. Let's test our theory. I'm going to throw something up in the air, and we'll see if it comes back down. It shouldn't. Now, if I'm going to, if it's not going to come back down, I don't want to throw something valuable like you know, my wallet or my phone. I want it to come back down. So I'm going to find something in the cupboard that I can afford to lose. So just bear with me a second here. You can throw it in. Okay, here's something I don't mind losing. This one. Stick a gum. I'm going to throw this up in the air. According to our theory, it should not come back. You ready? Whoops, hang on. It's going to Well, our theory, is not, our theory is not working, you guys. That was close. I guess our theory is right about 20% of the time. When you throw something up in the air, it doesn't come back down. Now I can't, I can't, well maybe if I climb up here and get that back down. Now how are you supposed to get back down? <laughs> I could get stuck up there forever, couldn't I? When you throw something up in the air, it doesn't come back down. Oh. That's a magnet. No, just stick a gum. Gum? Gum, yeah. It's a magnet with a gum wrapper on it. I know, I can tell that. So, since most of the time things come back down, what's wrong with our theory? Larissa? It doesn't take into account acceleration due to gravity. Right, the acceleration at the top. In fact, the acceleration everywhere is not zero. The acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, roughly. So every second, when you drop something, its velocity increases by about 10 meters per second. That's a lot. We're on the way up, it decreases by about 10 meters per second. That's why it stops going up and comes back down. Thank you. Don't join me.